Here are some of the views that have been expressed regarding the UNP convention held at the party headquarters, Sirikuta, yesterday. Ranil Vikramasinghe, who teaches democracy to us, has shown the whole country how to vote. Look at how he got the participants arranged. First he made the list of his henchmen. Only they could come to the convention. Those who he thought would vote against were told not to come. The UNP, which speaks of media freedom, prohibited journalists from coming to the convention. I was listening on the radio and I heard that Sirisa was not allowed in. Sirisa is not state media, is it? The convention is not a discussion where three or four people or 20 to 30 people participate. It is one where about 5,000 people participate. But our government, and I can responsibly state that President Mahinda Rajapaksa, will allow everyone to come for the convention. It is open to even the media network owned by Ranil Vikramasinghe's elder brother. At the same time, even Ranil Vikramasinghe's nephew's newspaper is allowed to come and take pictures of our convention. But at the UNP convention, journalists were not allowed to come inside and cover it. We can clearly see Ranil Vikramasinghe's democracy and media freedom. If they come into government, how will they work? We saw yesterday how the Haliala opposition leaders seesawed politically at Sirikota. And the Karunathilaka said that it was a feverish convention, but I only saw some people standing like bamboo trees. I could see that they had a fever. I saw Ranil Vikramasinghe wearing sunglasses and giving orders to sit, stand, sit, stand and sleep. We are very happy UNP members have done something that we should have done. Ranil Vikramasinghe has made it extremely clear that we can continue to rule for another six years without any trouble. We broadcasted this clip on our news at 7 p.m. Sirisa TV and due to popular demand, that here it is once again. We saw yesterday how the Haliala opposition leaders seesawed politically at Sirikota. Gayantha Karunathilaka said that it was a feverish convention, but I only saw some people standing like bamboo trees. I could see that they had a fever. I saw Rani Vikramasinghe wearing sunglasses like Sando Bryan and giving orders to sit, stand, sit, stand and sleep. Sando Brian Wage, Indaganwa, Hitaganwa, Wadi Venwa, Negitinawa, Nidaganwa, Gigia, Fidana Denwa Dekka.